And at the beginning of the year, that's what we talk about building relationships with the students. And that, that is the store of approaches that's being culturally responsive, is building those relationships with the students. So it's, it's not like a, a student is acting up in the class, teacher sends a student down in the office. Um, but the student comes back the next day and it's business as usual. Like there's, there's not a brunch. There's like, okay, let's start, let's start fresh. It's a new day. That's restorative. So really comfortable at John Merton. Uh, the teachers were really, really nice. I mean, it's just, it, there's a, a warm welcome you feel because it's such a small community. Everybody knows everybody. If I'm on duty, I always see the kids press the button if they see somebody coming. If they see a mm -hmm. uh, teacher yeah. coming in and they open the door, so or in the morning, the everyone. kids open the door and hold them for everybody else coming in. Um, it's all those little things that like, I think it really you know, warm my heart when I see the kids doing stuff mm -hmm. like that. They do care about each other and they do care about their community and um, you know, and, and they're good to one another yeah. for a lot of the part. I see a lot of those things. Dark North is always a place that's had a very bad stigma attached to it. And same with the school. People always tell this school as a horrible place and when I told people I was going here, they would tell me, oh no, you should go to a different school or oh, I feel bad for you. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't have had it any other way coming here. Because of the teachers and the connections I made here, they told me that I had a voice and I had good things to say, so I should use my voice. And after that moment, that's when I knew that I should be doing good things. And I actually, I do a lot of volunteering with my family. I do a lot of public speaking. And just because of the good connections the teachers put the effort into making with the students, it makes a huge difference. Um, it makes a really strong community within the school. And because of the teachers I've met here, I've actually been really thinking about going into like being a teacher myself because I want other kids growing up to have that person, like just like I had here. I think people do it so naturally in this building that they don't consider it anything separate. Like it's part of who we are as teachers in this building. And as a staff, like I just said to Devin today, like kind of jokingly, but I said I feel like we sort of model that relational building with each other, like we're a very mm -hmm. connected staff. And I don't know, I don't really think about it, it's just a natural way of how we connect with the kids is building the relationships, having the conversations, sharing how behaviors make us feel and impact us and impact, it's all a part of who we are. I don't even think we think of it as a separate. I felt like running away and all that, but then one of the teachers came down, she sat down with me, uh, Miss McNeil, she sat down with me, she told me it's all right, you can go in and do it, just go in when you feel like it. I calmed down, I was done shaking, I wasn't breathing heavy, and I went in, I sat down, and uh, Miss McLeod, the science teacher, came over and sat down with me for about 45 minutes and helped me do my work with what I needed uh, help with. And I left <clears throat> feeling pretty good, I felt like I could try it again, and I've been going for like the past two weeks. It's never again that step one, two, three, and we're at the finish line, it's that never-ending self-reflection, reflecting on the relationship, trying to develop the relationship, challenging yourself, challenging the other person. Um, you know, we've had a lot of transition this year. We have new staff coming in, always getting new students coming in. Just that notion that it has to be um, a mindset as opposed to a checklist. It's the staff has this community like vibe, like we're in it together. And, and like you touched on, the next day is a restart. You know, we're not holding grudges, right? Mm -hmm. We're we're working with kids and it takes time. You know? Like now I'm in a different role, I'm in, in the office as vice principal. And the kids come down, they're vulnerable. Uh, you know, they're downstairs and they're just like it's you know, their next week or next day or next hour is teetering on what happens in this five minute conversation mm -hmm. that I have with them. And and that's the reality. And they can leave thinking, okay. I trust Mr. Miller, or mm -hmm. I trust my teacher. We all have their best interest in mind, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and that's that's the vibe here at John Martin. With me, I came out of my shells because the teachers, the people I hung out with, all the other factors, and that's helped me as a person become who I am now. So I challenge myself the way I speak to my, my children, my coworkers, and just that sense of empathy, that sense of understanding, uh, letting go of ego, 
right, and not um, being in control all the time in that traditional sense. But really, it's about figuring out where they're at, and that's with the way that it goes in every class. Mm -hmm. So it's not just healthy living; it's math too. Um, being able to have authentic conversations uh, to bring myself into my work is really important, and that's been a big part of what's made this year successful for me um, and challenging as well. Um, but I think I think that's you know what Ian is saying about that relationship piece of meeting kids where they're at and working with them uh, from there without ego is just so important. I feel like I have a better relationship with like the teachers and I feel like that makes the like school experience better if you have a better relationship with your teachers instead of like not having it going. And I find the teachers here, they just like, they care about you a lot and they want you to succeed. And that like helps me a lot and makes me want to do better and makes me want to get those good grades.